Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 17th of May, 2023. It's my mom's birthday, by the way. But um, anyway, time here in Bali, Indonesia is 9.33 uh, PM. All right, now let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Libra needs to hear today. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be currently dealing with in the past or in the future. Got the Ace of Wands here. Single Libra. Libra. Single Libra. <laughs> I'm also, I'm not Libra, I'm a Virgo, but I'm a, I'm a Virgo Libra cusp, okay? So the Ace of Wands indicates a new beginning, and also you've got the Ace of Cups. Not a Cups can indicate singlehood as well. So for those of you who are single, single Libra, new beginning is happening here okay a new love a love that is so exciting and the nine of cups a love that's gonna take most of your boxes and three of wands is happening soon possibly within three days three weeks three months soon because the three of wands indicates something that is happening soon okay and it is your wish the star here if you've been wishing for a certain type of person partner that's going to happen in the wheel of fortune finally you know the wheel is going to turn in into your favor like it's finally going to happen for those of you who are single okay emperor Mars to cups and reverse yeah this can be an indication of a separation just you dealing having to deal with people who didn't serve your highest good people who may have abused the power over you over this connection people who don't you and this person don't really get along don't see eye to eye on certain things six of wands and reverse feeling defeated feeling as though you were not appreciated that you were not being celebrated and we've also got the eight of swords you know feeling stuck in a situation where you don't feel the best okay all of that is going to change obviously with the will of fortune the will of fortune is a big change it's a big change and the star here and in any case this changes what you want what you've been hoping for um this is a renewal energy here as well so all of that you've been experiencing in the past will be left in the past and again three of wands whatever you've been wishing for it's coming in soon and you're going to be super happy about it right nine of cups a new love is born new connection is born and it feels like look at the nine and the one nine of pentacles ace of cups is one cup here right so nine plus one is ten so your ten of cups which is your happily ever after the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is gonna be here soon okay that is awesome but libra as i have mentioned this many times in many of my readings only if you're open for it, okay? Only if you're op open for it. But for some of you, it will fortune also can indicate a chance meeting, right? Some of you, you may meet someone and never thought it could amount to anything. It could actually turn into amount to something, right? The star, somehow it feels magical. So it could be a magical encounter or just out of nowhere, didn't expect it. But then this person just... This connection just feels good. This connection just feels right. The sun in reverse can indicate in the past, perhaps you have been really unhappy, right? You've been nurturing these people, right? The empress, giving all that you could. The nine of swords in reverse. They just either treat you very badly or they lied to you, cheated on you, or didn't take any serious actions towards you. And the chariot in reverse, wasted the, waste the time. I mean, but don't see it as a waste of time in every relationships or friendships that we have been in or we were in. It all teaches us a, teaches us a lesson so that we know what we want. 
you know, next time around so that we could, you know, also get rid of whatever that isn't good for us. And, and um, to prepare us for the one that is right for us, right? Got the four pentacles right here. So it does look like there is a new beginning, Libra. Some of you, you know, even if you're not single, if you're currently connected to someone, if this is someone relatively new, like within one year, maybe in the beginning you're going to feel like, oh, I'm not so positive about this connection, but, you know, maybe you could grow into something. I don't know, right? I'm not sure if it could be successful, but then there will be a change in this connection in this situation where you're gonna feel like I'm changing my mind in regards to this connection I'm changing my mind in regards to this person or this person could be changing his or her mind in regards to you I'm finally realizing that with a star here that you could actually be the one for them right you could actually be the one that they've been always waiting for that they've always been again wishing for nine of cups this person might end up falling in love with you. It could be you end up falling in love with this person, right? Because, you know, the sun in reverse can get pessimism. So it feels like in the beginning of the connection, there could have been some doubts or just I'm just pessimistic. I am, I'm not going to hope or expect too much. But it turns into something really good. Unrequited love. For those of you, Libra, I feel like in your past, maybe you've experienced unrequited love. Either it's you who invested more or the other person invested. It could go vice versa, okay? This reading could go vice versa. And you, you thought this person could have been your true love, but they may have deceived you, right? Deception right here. And then we've got attraction, separation. Please bear in mind that attraction isn't everything. You know, sometimes the attraction and the deception can indicate like we could be attracted to a certain person because we are used to that or that we thought we deserve somebody like that, even though this person may not be the healthiest for us. So just be aware of that, okay? Someone could also in the past be or currently deceiving. Um, and basically it feels like this like it's like something so attractive like the package looks so good but the inside isn't so good i i hope that makes sense i think this has already happened for most of you but be aware of someone with a really nice package on the outside but not so good in the inside okay that could just be a little bit of a warning but i do see with ace of cups here there's a new love but new it feels good. It feels good. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the Star, and the Ace of Cups. That means most likely you're going to meet someone or end up with someone whom you're going to fall in love with. They're going to fall in love with you. It could also be a current person. Separation, and we've also got you deserve love. Yeah, Spirit is definitely saying that you deserve love because you're lovable. And someone is going to see that of you. But... You know, also, I feel like for a lot of you, yeah, in your past, the separation, attraction, deception, just take that, like, it feels like this is something you have been through, and make sure you take notes on that, take note on that, as in, just because, again, I just keep seeing this package, like, it's like, even though the package looks really good, it may deceive you into thinking that attraction May deceive you into thinking that this person is is perfect or this person is good but it's not really that case that's what i'm seeing here anyway libra this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below for those of you who have missed my live stream actually it was my first live stream on youtube um check check it out if you want to i'm gonna leave that video on the screen right now hope you can see it i hope it appears but that's my one and only live stream video you can also find it on my profile 
on that live stream. It's a mukbang tarot, something that I um, thought it would be fun to do. A lot of people enjoyed it. Some don't like it, but I don't care. I'm just going to do <laughs> something that I find is fun. And majority of people liked it anyway, so it really didn't matter um, if few people didn't like it. But anyway, check it out if you want to. There are like individual sign readings on there, also personal readings um, on my live stream. That was why I was thinking to do this, where you can actually ask your question and then I can answer it on the spot using tarot, of course. Yeah. So if you don't want to uh, miss my next live stream or any of the videos that I post daily for you, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you wouldn't miss it. All right, take care, Libra. Bye.